New at five, a man is arrested, accused of breaking into several homes, sometimes hitting the same ones more than once in the same day. Pulse police say he's well known to them. Imagine that. Fox 23's crime and safety reporter John Acebus joins us live. Now, John, this is a case detectives tell you they've been working on for some time and they believe this guy could be connected to more crimes. Exactly. David Wilson is a guy that police say they know by sight. They pull up surveillance video and they'll be able to point him out and say that is more than likely David Wilson. He was finally arrested this week after a months long investigation. Police say this is David Wilson in broad daylight going into someone's backyard. Yes, he is one of our problem children that we have in the city of Tulsa. The police say again, this is David Wilson going on. <laughs> He's one of our problem children that we have in the city of Tulsa. <laughs> Sons ain't gonna like that. What you mean, children? See how they talk about us? They see us as children. They, every white person sees every black person as a child. Months long investigation. Police say this is David Wilson in broad daylight going into someone's backyard. Yes, he is one of our problem children that we have in the city of Tulsa. The Police say again, this is David Wilson going onto a patio and trying the doors of a home. They say he's got an M.O., often wearing the same clothes and breaking into homes during the day or sometimes at night. We know who he is. We know him by sight. The detectives that deal with him all the time can see him in a video and identify him instantaneously that this is... David Wilson. I spoke with the lead detective of the burglary unit, Tim Meats, about Mr. Wilson. It's not just breaking into unoccupied homes. He's breaking into homes that have people that are actually inside. Wilson was arrested Wednesday for charges going all the way back to August. The charges include trying to break into the same home twice in one day, another burglary a month later, then trying to sell something that he stole to a pawn shop on top of using someone's credit card. Just showing how active this person is and how many times we've dealt with this individual. And Not only do police say they have security video, but they have multiple pictures of someone they believe is David Wilson. Wilson is no stranger to being behind bars either. These records are from the Department of Corrections. It shows convictions <laughs> dating. <laughs> That's a CVS receipt right there, man. If you ever wanted to know what a CVS receipt looked like, that's a CVS receipt, man to being behind bars either. These records are from the Department of Corrections. It shows convictions dating back years. So he gets out and he continues doing what he did to get in prison the, you know, the first time. His latest arrest, police say he was trying to pawn something off. Police say they found his Mississippi ID card and later had to tackle him when he tried to run. Police are concerned for public safety and in a way, his own. Who knows what would happen if a homeowner confronted him or why are we concerned for his own safety, man? Fuck that guy, man. And make sure you hit the like button, man. We going for... However many likes we got now, we going for double that now, man. Everyone who's coming there, man, hit the like button, man. Link in the description if you want to come up, man. Um, IA, man. Shout out to IA, man. IA says therapy is broken. 81% of them have mental illness. That'll be like 81% of doctors have a manslaughter charge. Every system has incompetence built into it, so it generates income. Very sad. Yeah, I mean, I can understand that, but it's still worth a try, man. I'd rather have some teens talk to a goddamn homeless person, a cab driver, a barber, somebody who they can talk to, man, and tell about the trauma they're going through in their community. Because living in Blackistan is literally living in fucking a place where people are always fucking with you and you can never really complain about it because complaining about it makes you a bitch. Complaining that some niggas want to kill you, some niggas from this neighborhood want to kill you, and some other niggas from that neighborhood want to fight you, and some other niggas complaining about that. I'm not talking about complaining about, you know, your stocks are down or you don't know if you're going to get the promotion that you've been looking for. I'm talking about your fucking life, man. And you can't complain about that shit because that make you soft. You can't show that you're afraid. You got niggas, you got fucking killers looking for you and shit and you 15, 16 years old. And you got to act like that shit don't scare you. 
some little niggas that have killed multiple people are riding around in cars searching for you. And you're 15 years old. And you got to act like you're not fucking afraid. Wilson is currently booked into the Tulsa County Jail on five different felonies. He is still in there tonight. But as we mentioned earlier, David Wilson is the suspect in several other cases. Right now, Tulsa police are just building a case to be able to provide that evidence to charge him with that. Covering news that matters. Yeah, Johnson. and you got to assist in them getting the cuff. If they, sh let's say those sun teens that are riding around looking for you, let's say they catch up with you and they shoot at you. And they hit you in your leg or some shit. Knock your fucking leg off and shit. And the fucking cops say, hey, man, who just shot you with that fucking AR-15 and knocked your whole fucking leg off? You have to assist in them getting away. Just so you can continue to, you know, have your whatever status or be, you know, accepted in your community. You have to be like, I didn't see anything. They could be like, well, we got the guys. We 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 got them. All we need you to do is point them out. Think about it. You have to assist in the, your fucking, the people that are trying to kill you and trying to end your life, you have to assist in them staying on the streets or you're a bitch. Fox 23 News.